This is part 2 and final video tutorial of our Facebook audience network native ad implementation tutorial. Before proceeding make sure you visit the link present on your screen right now and understand how to display the native ad creatives inside your application. In today's video tutorial let's see how to implement native ads clickable area. So this is our previous day tutorials code. Let me remove this start variable. I think I have already removed it from the view and I have an ID native on ion card. Let us write the native add code inside ion view did enter method which gets executed once the view is loaded. So I'll simply remove the code from within the constructor and place it inside ion view did enter method. So let me wrap the code inside platform ready method because we need to be sure that all the components and the platform has been ready before our code is executed. So let me remove this start from here the variable and cut this code and paste it inside our ion view did enter method. Well create native add method has a callback function. So once this emits native add units data the listener code gets executed and the creative gets displayed on the view. So, <clears throat> so these are all our, from our yesterday's video tutorial. Once create native add emits the data which has on, lo on add loaded method, the listener gets executed, the listener code gets executed. So let me write a method called update x y which takes two parameters left and top. I'll take variables x y w and h. The x y is x y coordinates w is width of native add component and h is height of that display component. So get the element by id which is native dot I'll take its offset value that is offset left. So the y axis I'll get the element by its id and get its offset top value. And remember we need to keep updating this x y values once the user starts scrolling the scrolling the view. So now let me dynamically get the width of our display component and also the height which is static by the way but still let me dynamically fetch the width and height. It has a property called client width. We have it uh, yeah here and then client height. So the important part now Facebook ads have a method called set native add click area for first parameter it takes ID that is add units ID and then x y w h that is x y coordinate and width and height of the component display component. So this is my update x y method. I need to update this value dynamically when once the user starts scrolling the screen. Remember w h value will always be static only x y coordinate values changes. Usually x value doesn't change because we are only navigating vertically and not horizontally. 
so to fetch the these view changing values we need we need to get reference to the content component from a page logic which we can get using angular's view child annotation so view child of we need to get content areas reference i'll take a variable called content of type content so this dot content that is our variable dot ion scroll dot we need to subscribe to that whenever user scrolls the view view page we get this ion scroll emits certain data which we will pass to update xy we won't pass everything we'll just pass scroll left and scroll top to get to know what other information it emits please visit the link present on your screen right now you will get full detail of that so once this update xy gets its current left and top value we will simply subtract that value from previous value so that we could get current clickable area of the display creative of native add unit remember x value doesn't usually change because we are moving the screen vertically and not horizontally when we move it horizontally we need to update x value too so for any case i am doing it so that it works on larger devices too there is a problem see in the corner we have the clickable area instead of on the creative that is because user has not yet scrolled the screen and hence our update xy method never got called so initially we need to invoke it so let's invoke it inside ion view did enter and let us pass 0 comma 0 because initially it doesn't have the user hasn't moved the screen elements so why i'm using that instead of this please visit the link to know more about it so this is the result part we have misplacement of clickable area that is because of the header we have here so if you don't have header it will work if you have header there is some adjustment requirements so i'll go to the home page view and then take an id for ion header well let me call it header height now dynamically i'll even know what's the height of this header and then add that to means i'll subtract that from the variable top client height so i'll subtract this from top so this must give dynamically give us the exact value and dimensions of our native add creative so that when the user clicks on this creative they must be taken to its respective landing page for example you can check an example of this implementation inside our application a link to which is present on your computer screen right now so there is one important thing to note if you navigate between views this clickable area still persists that if you click on some elements the ad gets invoked and your facebook's audience network account might get banned to prevent that inside ion view did leave call this method that is facebook ads remove native ad and then pass your native ad units id that's it 
so this is it please visit our blog link to which is shown on your computer screen right now to get the notes additional notes and also if you change the orientation of your device again at the top left corner of your device a green spot that is clickable area will be shown to to fix that uh, we need to write a small bit of code which i have posted on my blog the link to which is present on your computer screen right now and also in the description section of the youtube video you are watching right now and also some of the minor fixes and enhancement is also posted on the blogs blog please comment and discuss about this code on the blog because i can't post code in this youtube comment section hope you understand and please share this video and the link to our blog post with your friends colleagues on your social networking sites stack overflow reddit facebook twitter stumble upon etc stay subscribed to our blog technotip.com and to our youtube channel and please do not forget to like our video on youtube thank you